Hello out there fans and collectors, this is G-Man with G-Man Toy Reviews. Today I got a special treat for you. It's the Gigantics by AMT and Ertl models at the time when they were just merging together. This is from 1975 through 79 these models were produced. Uh, they might have had another production run in 82 or 83, but I'm not sure. But I'm definitely sure these came out in 1975 through 79. What you get in this series of wonderful models, which measure about 9.5 inches to 6 by 6 in the diorama, okay? What you get here is one on the right, the tarantula, the huge tarantula diorama, whose tarantula crushes power station. The praying mantis, the colossal mantis, but it's the praying mantis diorama. Uh, he's at a railroad station. He attacks the city station. Uh, yeah, there's a caboose and all that in there. I'll show you. Uh, and then the scorpion rampages, terrorizes a city area. Well, silly city block, basically. Okay. And he's rampaging. He's tearing up and crushing cars, whatever. Okay. All right. Now you've seen all those. Now, what I want to get at is these are wonderful models. Uh, let me show you a picture of the praying mantis here. This mantis looks really good, and it's a nice box, okay? It comes with a diorama, instructions, and kit. You have to paint these if you want to look like the boxes, okay? Or paint it naturally what they look like. Some people do that. Natural as they look in, quote unquote, the insect world or how they look for real. Also, I've got a picture I can show you off the internet. So to give you an idea of what this big boy looks like, uh, it's really nice. Uh, let me see if I can get it up here for y'all. Here's a picture of the diorama of the mantis after it's built, okay? That's what it looks like when you build this. Look at that. Ain't that gorgeous? Outstanding. Okay, let me take this. Let's do this. Let me show you the side of the right size. We'll start on the right. This side, of course. This side is what we'll start with, the tarantula. What you got is a big box of tarantula, okay? All right, here it is, big box. And on the side, you've got a little pictures of the diorama, as you all can see it, okay? Each box comes with a small one. And notice that it's brown. This tarantula is brown when mixed with black when the box only shows black. Okay, just letting you know, okay? This is the way they chose to do it for the model scenes because the old models used to show you how they would paint stuff to give you all some ideas how to paint yours, okay? This is great, okay? This is a huge, huge model. And I'll open it up and give you an idea what it looks like. Very, very, very organized. Back then, this is how they came back 1975 through 79. This is how they looked, okay? You get the set of instructions. Ain't that nice? Set of instructions how to build it. You get a card that says what's coming out with AMT and Ertl. There's a card. You register it, they send you all the information. It's called Blueprint, and you join it, and they send you information about the models coming out, okay? It's like a club, which is cool. Okay, the model itself comes in a bag, as you see. Some of it's loose because it's all the years. Remember, these are from 1975 to 79, so these are old models, okay? If you get them in a bag like this, they're worth buying. If they're all spread out in the box, do not buy it because you're probably missing some pieces. Also, the diorama is right here. Here's the diorama that you set up for the model. Now, ain't that something? That's the diorama. Now, I've seen people actually uh, go to a store or, to, or Staples or something, and they get it laminated so it can last forever after they put it up on their diorama. I don't know if that's recommended, but if that's the way you want to go, then that's the way to go. Okay, and I got the original sticker price of this model from Kmart back then. 1975 Kmart was... $5.99, was that $5.99 or $6.99? It looks like it's $6.99. Yep, that model was only $6.99 back then on Kmart. Ain't that cool? Okay, now let's just put everything back in the box the way I got it. I don't want it hurt. Again, this is wonderful. Remember, the, you don't get no paint or cement with this. You have to buy paint and cement separately, model cement or whatever, or glue. But the instructions are pretty cool. They tell you the story of the tarantula here. To tell you in the insect world what it's like. Here's some of the instructions, if I can show you. There you go. Gives you a number, how to put it in, how to do it. 
on the back show you how to do your diorama. See? It's a really cool model, and each one is like that, so I'm not going to open each one. I just wanted to show you the tarantula one to give you all some ideas of what you're going to be buying. I've seen them as low as $50, as high as $250. Some even say $300. I think a fair price would be between $50 and $75. That's my personal opinion on this collectible. Again, I wouldn't buy these right out as much as the scalpers would like to try to sell them for, if you scalpers were trying. But they're worth at least, at the most, if they got the cellophane still on, maybe up to 100 maybe. But the rest of the time, if you're not going to, you know, keep them as a collector item and you want to put them together, then between 50 and say, I'll say $75 is a fair deal for these. This has been yours truly, G-Man with G-Man Toys and Roos. Signing off. Peace.